My name is Don, and this show explores my visit in June 2003 to Cotton Village and Harbour outside Wawa, Ontario. As I approached the village on Highway 17 from Sault Ste. Marie, I reached the Mishpacottam River and bridge uh, before the mission. This uh, river is part of a principal canoe route that joined Lake Superior to James Bay. The Mishpacottam is a beautiful river. Stop off to visit an old friend, Mrs. Ann May, who runs the Cedar Hall restaurant. I knew Ann when I taught high school in Wawa, Ontario, between 1972 and 1975. She was a wonderful cook, or is a wonderful cook, and produced some great meals. Now we enter Mishpacottam River Village. The mission started as an Indian mission supporting the Hudson's Bay Company fur trading post at Mishpacottam. The village grew with the growth of the Canadian Pacific Railway to the north and then became the shipping point for the gold rush town of Wawa in 1897. During my stay in Wawa, I enjoyed writing many articles about the local history of the area. When I was there in the 1970s, the mission was quite a romantic place. There were many old buildings and log cabins. This is what it looked like in the early 1900s. St. Thomas Heineken Church was central to life in the year the Mishpacottam Village Mission. The mission when I visited it in 2003 is like any other Canadian suburb. It's a quiet, peaceful place and exceptionally scenic. Silver Falls is a very scenic part of the mission. Here's the bridge over Silver Falls headed to the harbor on the Gravel Harbor Road. The harbor is the center of an Indian reservation belonging to the Ojibwa tribe. We passed a pioneer graveyard with many of the graves dating back to the year the 1900s. Back in 1972 and 1973, I brought my students here to do local research into the early pioneers. Here's our first view of Lake Superior from the Harbor Road. The road itself is windy and has some fairly steep hills. It can be really treacherous in winter when covered with ice and snow. A notable landmark and a place to stop off in summer is Sandy Beach on Lake Superior. 
the water is always very cold. Here's an early view of the harbor shot in probably the mid-1900s or earlier. The harbor was used to ship iron ore to the blast furnaces of the Agoma Steel Corporation in Sault Ste. Marie. It was also a terminal for the Agoma Central Railway. In the early days, some of the settlers here had fun. When I was there in the 1970s, much of the infrastructure remained. Here's the harbor today. Almost nothing remains of the earlier structures. Here's the view from the old wharf looking towards the mission or Mispicottam village. The Agoma Central Railway still remains. Thanks for joining me in my exploration of Mispicottam village and the harbor outside Wawa, Ontario. Mm -hmm.